welcome back to another episode of We Rebuild. Hey, today we're back in Maryland. So we're gonna be working on this 2018 Audi S5 once more again. So we have a whole bunch of wire work to take care of. As you can see, when you look over here, you realize that all the, the engine is in, the, the new frame, frame rails are in, they're looking great. You know, so next thing we're just gonna have to do is just do all the wire work, make sure we take care of that today. Um, we have a whole bunch of wires to take care of, so we're gonna hop straight into that. And then if we get that done today, I mean, we're just gonna try to work on this car countless. So once we get that done, the next thing we're gonna focus on is getting it started. So only thing we have to do, get this wire done, put the transmission oil in, get it started for the first time, and then the rest is gonna be history. So we're just gonna take care of that. But anyways, like, share, subscribe, drop your comments and thoughts down below. Turn your post notifications on, check us out on all social media links. Hey, don't forget to grab yourself some merch on WeRebuilds.com. As you can see, the S5, hey, we're back at it. We're almost done. You know, it's been two years now. It's the longest car we've ever rebuilt on this channel. So anyways, let's hop straight into this video. Yes, yeah, so now what I'm gonna do is drag you on memory because we had a lot of stuff done as you can see right here this is the picture of when we got the Audi and you know many persons told us that we wouldn't get this far to where we're at today this is the parts car where we took many parts off of so that we could get to where we need to today because if it wasn't for this car we wouldn't have an extra engine transmission frame rails fenders and a whole bunch of parts that we could sell later on on this car because the dash is still good the rotor um no, not the rotors some of the calipers all four calipers are actually pretty good we have the exhaust that's good a whole bunch of sensors so uh this car has been a money maker because um the neat airbag the steering wheel airbag is many of the parts that we uh, we also took off this car and that's a great thing that we didn't uh we got so many parts off this car. But anyways, I'd like to give a huge shout out to a couple people that's helped with this build this far. And, and that's what we have to do. We have Dowdy's towing because they're always helping us out with towing all of our cars. And they've been with the channel for a while. The next is King's Customs. They've always helped us out when we just started to get, get most of our stuff done. So huge shout out to those companies they are located in Jacksonville North Carolina the next company that I'm shouting out right now is D and S auto collision repair these guys have been the ones that's helping me out there out in Maryland, Baltimore Maryland hey so you need to go check them out if you area. go check out all three of these companies because they have been helping me us helping us out with the with the build as you can see this is King's custom right here doing some framework on the 2018 Audi S5 so i mean this was a huge help to the process of rebuilding the car hey so what we're gonna do now you know since enough enough of this memory stuff now we're just gonna hop straight into the wire repairs of this car because now we're gonna see how much um stuff that it entails and what we have to do so but yes i'm back in maryland getting more stuff done on the 2018 audi 5 hey so let's get back to the video hey so what i have for this part all i'm doing right now is just i'm about to put you on a quick time lapse so i'm gonna splice these wires in so these are the wires are from the transmission this is from the transmission connector and then these are the other set of wires that run straight into the wire and harness so all i'm gonna do is um i've already started tracing some of the wires back to where they go because some of the wires are already traced in and I have one wire right here that's already connected and good. This one right here for the, the engine mount. So that one's already there. And then we're gonna have to splice in some wires over here for this one with this whole wiring harness. So this, this is gonna be, be the big issue at the moment, but we're not gonna really worry about this side yet. So I'm gonna just focus on the other side first. And then after that, everything else should be easier to get connected and then we just keep going.
All right, so now that we're on this side, as you can see, I'm gonna try to see if I could run all the wires from this side now. So currently, now we know where these wires, this branch off to here, that's for the, that goes inside of the hood. This goes um, to the windshield washer bottle. So now the next thing we're gonna do is focus on, on, focus on this right here, where all these wires, we're gonna have to fix all these wires or splice in all these wires right now. So, uh, before I head to that, what I what I what I am gonna do is um, since this side I did not have no power because everything was disconnected, I am going to connect to run it from this so and take off everything right here and all these connectors right here and then basically splice the wires where I need to splice them in to and and so on. So we're gonna keep on pushing, let's go. Okay, so now everything is, is stripped from this side. Everything is gone from this side. So now this is the whole wiring harness with everything. Now I'm about to cut again. So instead of cutting the wire up here, I'm gonna just cut it all the way down here. And then we start splicing the wires over the next car. Let's do it. Can't turn back now. It's gone. So as you could see, with this process, it was a bit tedious because we we had to splice back these wires in. Now we didn't even know that the black Audi had more features than the white one. So some of the wires we end up had to take out and then just splice everything. Bring it at tonight, you know, so? Yeah. 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 Hey, so we got a good amount of, of the wire work done on the Audi. Uh, tomorrow, we're gonna hit some um, more stuff tomorrow. So we're gonna hop um, straight into that tomorrow. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey, so it's the next day. What we're gonna do today is, since both wire and harness is different because I guess the other Audi had more features than this one. So what we're gonna do is basically strip down each wire and harness and just run each wire straight. So like for this wire, that's for the, the brakes. We're just gonna run this one straight. And once we run this one straight, we just basically splice it into the harness and then just do every single one until I'm done. And then once I'm done, then we'll try to put some oil into the transmission, get some transmission oil in there. Once we get that oil in there, we're gonna put it, put it down to the grounding points. Once we're done with the grounding points, then we're gonna try to start this car today. Hopefully we can get that done. I kind of got here a little bit late, but hey, um, better late than never. So, I mean, let's hop straight up straight into the rest of this video where we can see how far we can get done with the rest of this wire. So let's, let's go. So with this wire loom, I'm gonna uh, remove it and then just expose all the wires and then just trace back every single wire 
one at a time. Or what I probably will do is do one set in groups and then go from there one at a time. So uh, what I'll probably start by doing is maybe this bunch right here and then this bunch and then the other wires for the engine mounts this is it so what i'm going to do is just clip it in and then just basically splice it back up top so let's keep going As you can see right here, I have most of the wire work done. It's it's all over the place, but I know where everything is at. It's just last three wires that I don't know where they go to. It's one, two, and three. So these are the three wires. I don't know where they exactly go, but um, I'm not gonna put no power to the car yet. Oh, and one more, four right here. So, but what I'm gonna do is just search for whatever other sensors there. But this is the original wire loom that um, that was with the car. And this is the other one that came off the second car. So what I'm gonna do is just make one whole wire loom. I've already put back some of the hoses that are in the car. Cause you can see this thin one is running by behind here. And then some of the gas hoses. I know there's a piece that broke off inside. So I'm trying to get this other hose right now ordered from Audi. And I have this other piece over here that's broken from. But most of the stuff are back on. The line is back on right here. Um, I did kind of messed up and cut this early when we were taking the engine out. So I ended up having to cut the hose a little bit shorter and put it on. But I can see it's right there and it's all the way in. So that's good. So yeah, but most of all the wire is almost done. And this is, is good. It's just now... <laughs> What I'm gonna try to do is the wires that I'm not sure of, I'm just gonna leave them out for a while. So maybe tomorrow I'm gonna try to put oil to this car and start it. So, and that should be everything. And just to hear it turn over and then basically rewrap the whole wiring harness and make sure the wiring harness is good. And that, so that's what we're gonna do. We still might have some hiccups because some of the sensors i remember when we just got the white one we didn't get the all these front pieces on here because remember this front piece came off the other um parts car that we have right there so most of this is almost done that's pretty much it but thank you for watching this episode on we rebuilds hey it, it's been a lot but i mean we, we, we gotta keep going so anyways, like, share, subscribe, drop your comments and thoughts down below. Turn your post notifications on. on. Check us out on our social media link. Don't forget to grab yourself some merch on WeRebuilds.com. As I said, I know I'm finally like the last bit of pieces. I'm getting rid of them. So just get yourself some merch because guess what? We're back on the S5 and we're going to try to get it done. Before I leave Maryland, I'm going to make sure it gets started. So, And that's at least one of the things that I want to get done. But anyways, stay positive, stay motivated.